everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of Movie Talk. Well, I've been promising you guys for the past two weeks that I would do this. So, this week's, episode, this week's Movie Talk review is on Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Two Titans of Justice, Batman, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne, and Superman, a.k.a. Clark Kent, meet in the most anticipated showdown of our times. Fearing the actions of a godlike superhero left unchecked, Gotham City's form formidable vigilante takes on Metropolis's revered savior while the world wrestles with what sort of hero it really needs. But as Batman and Superman go to war, a separate danger arises, one that may threaten all of humanity. Okay, highlights of the movie. This movie was made back in 2016, so it's about three years old, give or take a few months, and is a superhero film based on the DC characters of Batman and Superman. And it is a follow-up to Man of Steel, which came out in 2013. I apologize for not doing a review of that movie before I did a review of this movie. I was unaware of, I was aware of Man of Steel, but I was unaware that it tied into this franchise. So I will do a re separate review on that one as soon as I can get it and watch it. Um, this movie is also the second in the Justice League franchise. Um, and if I misspelled franchise, I apologize. Uh, the first being, of course, Man of Steel. The third being Wonder Woman. Uh, the only one up until now that I have actually seen. Um, the fourth being Justice League. And the fifth being Aquaman. With, I believe, a few more scheduled to come out as well. Okay, things I liked about this movie... Really about the only thing I liked about this movie was I liked the story. It was very interesting and it was a very different take on the DC heroes. Um, normally when you think of DC, you think these heroes that are revered by people for what they can do. Not many of them are seen as... Um, are seen in the same light as, say, the Marvel heroes, who some people like them and some people don't like them, and there's this big question about them, um, whether or not we actually need them. This movie um, was very much, and I hope I don't get a, catch a lot of slack from you guys on this, but I probably will, um, very much along the lines of the Marvel's movies, and I want to explain why I say that. Um, we had a lot of controversy surrounding um, the two main heroes in this movie. Of course, Wonder Woman's in it as well, but um, she is not Wonder Woman. She's just Diana. Um, but anybody who knows the DC Universe knows that Diana Prince is Wonder Woman. Um, but there's a lot of controversy around our two heroes. There's controversy around Batman. He is seen as a vigilante, although he is seen as a vigilante in almost any movie he's in. But there's also a lot of controversy around Superman, which is a little different. Usually Superman is not a character that has controversy around him. Basically, almost everybody really likes Superman except those who, you know, break the law. So this is a really different take on that. Now, I'm not saying that DC was trying to copy Marvel or anything. I'm not saying that. So don't anybody write that in the comment section. I'm just saying the impression I got from this movie. And again, I haven't seen Man of Steel, so there might be some things going on in that movie that um, will explain what's going on in this movie. Um, but the impression I got from this movie was very similar to the impressions I get from the Marvel movies. Um, and this was, in my opinion, kind of the origin story for Bruce Wayne. We kind of go a little more into his background and whatnot, or what his background will be for this franchise. I believe Man of Steel was the same thing for Superman. 
Um, and this movie also opens the door for Justice League as well um, with the ending. Now, again, this was a great movie. It had a lot of wonderful special effects and whatnot. But, you know, maybe I've just seen one too many Marvel movies or anything because this movie, superhero-wise, really didn't do anything for me. But the only reason I watched it was it had my favorite... DC hero in it, um, in that being Batman. Um, so, and I was just, I was kind of interested in seeing it. I've heard a mix of things about it and I wanted to form my own opinion on it. So I thought, well, you can't form your own opinion if you don't watch the movie. And I did see Wonder Woman when it came out in theaters. Um, and I really liked Wonder Woman. So I thought, oh, well, Wonder Woman's wonderful. Um, I'm sure, um, Batman versus Superman will be just as good, and um, I'm just going to say I was a little disappointed with Batman versus Superman. Um, it was not what I was expecting it to be, and you know, not in a good way. Um, um, Man, of, Man of Steel and Justice League and Aquaman, uh, doors still open on that one. I haven't seen those yet, so I am not going to say one way or the other how those... What I, think of those until I actually see them and you will find out in my review on those. Um, but this one in particular, uh, it just was not what I expected. And one of my big issues with this movie, I am actually going to come right on and say is I didn't like how Batman and Superman were pitted against each other. In almost anything else I've seen them in, Batman and Superman were almost like best friends. And I did not like seeing them being portrayed as adversaries. I'm like, if you're going to do a Batman Superman movie, um, this is my opinion, if you're going to do a Batman Superman movie, don't do them as adversaries. Do them as best friends. That's how they've always been portrayed as best friends. Do they always agree with each other? No. But friends don't always agree with each other. So the fact that they were portrayed this way was a little bit of a disappointment for me. And that was my biggest issue with this movie. Okay, cast. This movie had a very good cast of actors. Um, many of them go on to reprise their roles or roles in um, the other movies in this franchise or in the case of those who are characterized with Superman, such as Clark Kent, Lois Lane, Lex Luthor, and Perry White, um, reprise their roles from Superman or from Man of Steel, I believe. I'd have to double check on that. And if I'm mistaken, I am I do apologize. So I'm just gonna let you read through there. Um note that while she did not appear as Wonder Woman, I did mention Diana Pierce as Wonder Woman because everybody who knows anybody who knows the Marvel or Marvel that excuse me, DC universe, um knows that Diana Prince and Wonder Woman are the same person. Okay, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. And if you guys would like to start up a debate on whether or not this um, Justice League franchise is better than the Avengers franchise or vice versa, I am all for that. I may even join in with you guys on that once I get a few more of these Justice League movies um, viewed. Because uh, I am a fan of both. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Uh, I am not knocking Justice League. I love Justice League. I grew up with Justice League. Um... But um, right now, I do like Avengers a little bit better. Um, but we'll see where the other Justice League movies go. But again, um, I'm not opposed to a debate on that. Just, you know, follow my rules. We'll get And we'll get to those in a second. Um, please like and share if you're watching on Facebook. Or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those five sites right there on the screen. As well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note, all pictures seen within this video belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rolls.
Okay, feel free to check out my other movie talk videos. My Movie Talk Special Edition videos. and my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, two things I'd like to touch on. First off, and this is for my YouTube subscribers, 
Any of my backlog videos that are not on YouTube are on my Facebook page. I will have the link for that in my in the description section. This one is for my Facebook friends. Um, any of my backlog videos that are not on Facebook are on YouTube. The link for those will be I will have the link for that in my in the description section. I will also be posting the links for these videos to Facebook. Um, so you can check those out as well, but if you're having any problems, um, let me know and or go to my YouTube channel. Okay, if, I, um, if you're looking for TV Talk, here's a list of all the TV Talk videos I've, TV shows I've either done TV Talk videos on or I'm currently doing TV Talk videos on. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.